what's taking place in the streets of uh, Istanbul and other Turkish cities today is, uh, first of all, an inspiring illustration of what uh, the general population can do to combat repression, uh, violence, uh, along uh, far-reaching plans to uh, change the society so as to undermine a decent human survival in the interests of uh, business and uh, uh, corporate structures. It's part of the uh, what's happening in Turkey. It's particularly significant because of Turkey's major role in the region, most important country in the region. Uh, whatever happens in Turkey is going to have very broad influence, already beginning to have influence uh, east and west. Uh, it's part of a major uh, uprising internationally against the neoliberal assault on the global population that's been going on for a generation. It takes different forms in different places, but it's happening everywhere. Uh, uh, in the last, in the beginning of this millennium, uh, Latin America, after many years of struggle, basically pulled out of uh, Western, mostly U.S. domination, began to uh, move in its own independent direction. Uh, 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 some countries uh, 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 refused to pay the uh, improper debts that had been imposed. Uh, others have sought in other ways to uh, extricate themselves from the neoliberal shackles that had had led to uh, impeded uh, growth and development, caused uh, uh, enormous difficulties for the population uh, uh, in uh, uh, throughout in, in North Africa, the Arab Spring, now in a kind of a temporary period of waiting, all you know, followed began to follow the same course, also reacting strongly to the impact of the economic programs. Uh, imposed by the international financial institutions, uh, Western powers generally, local authorities, dictators implementing them. Uh, that's in a, right now in abeyance. We don't know where it will go. Turkey's joining now. There are similar developments throughout Europe, uh, very strongly in Greece, also in Spain, uh, uh, here in the United States as well with the uh, popular uprisings in Wisconsin, later Scotty Park, and the Occupy movement. I think all of these are parts of one general global reaction to uh, imposition of uh, social and economic policies over the past generation that have uh, been extremely beneficial to tiny sectors of concentrated wealth and have generally caused, uh, uh, had a severe impact on populations worldwide. It's been associated in many places with repression. In Turkey, the last few years have seen a very unfortunate regression. The uh, 1990s were a complete horror story, but uh, by the early years of this millennium there was notable improvement. Now, regression uh, Turkey now, for example, has more journalists in jail than any country in the world and other forms of repression taking place. The population is now rising up against it. There were immediate causes in, uh, in, in the effort to basically destroy the last public space, open public space in Istanbul in the interests of uh, uh, military installation, uh, mosque, uh, commercialization, uh, gentrification, uh, uh, and destroying the traditional character of the city, uh, uh, and it's now spread to much broader issues. Uh, for the international community, those who are concerned with human rights, uh, justice, uh, uh, freedom, uh, uh, the welfare for the general population uh, should be an occasion for an opportunity for support and solidarity, and there are Fortunately, solidarity activities taking place all over, but also an inspiration for their own struggles. There's all, these are international struggles. This should be a lot of mutual support and interaction. Uh, for the great powers, 
uh, who have been imposing these systems is slowly destroying Europe. It's having harmful effects in the United States. This should be a warning uh, that they should uh, return to uh, put an end to these policies and uh, turn to paying attention to the needs and concerns of the general population, not just to a tiny sector of corporate power and concentrated wealth. Uh, but the events in Turkey themselves are right now a, kind of a beacon of hope and, uh, uh, and of opportunity which uh, uh, deserve the strongest possible support and uh, uh, one can offer only express uh, admiration for the people on the front lines and hope for their success in their just and very significant struggle.